Nestled in the hills of Virginia, we are touching the hokey stone. Means remembering the legends who formed the foundation of a power. Names like Vic and Beamer and a lunch pail mentality that applies to the Virginia Tech Hokies. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Virginia Tech Hokie. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys can't wait to get this one started. And the Hokies will kick it away to start us off. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Seminoles offense will get the first crack at it here. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double team them, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball on quick passes. They're going to throw it deep. And they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. To the air, it's Uyunglele. He looks that one in nicely. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. On third down, going up top. Trying to burn this defensive back. And he's got it inside the 20. And he's brought down after a huge completion. I love when you back the defense off of you. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more conservative, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. They think there's room to run to the right here. Got enough space. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, no. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground, and that was pay dirt. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. So the Virginia Tech Hokies offense will try to get something started with their first possession. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Holding, holding, holding. holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. Quick pass on the jet motion. 
The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Hokies line up to punt it away. Listen, you hear all the time about how important it is to stay on schedule offensively, right? And this is a perfect example. You just can't have negative plays early in drives because even when you come up with big plays like we just saw, you're still miles away from picking up this first down. You're making it so hard on your offense. Off the play fake on first down. Snagged on the outside. It's Morlock. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. The give is to Williams. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got his man downfield. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And the Seminoles have it with a first and 10. They'll try the run. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The play action fake. Looking to the big tight end. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Well, that play action fake, it just throws the defense for a split second. That allowed the tight end time to work his route, get vertical down the field, and pick up a big gainer for the offense. Using the quick game. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Wide receiver shows motion. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. It's as if that ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that lead grows even bigger. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Tony. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last no, drive. No, so they no, got to no, take no, a collective no, breath no, and start playing like a unit on this drive. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. They try to pop a run on the draw. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. It, it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking to throw, it's Thrones. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes if you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that. And a big hit at the end, but it didn't stop him from getting the first down. 
And the Hokies will hustle for the line. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. You get it to him, get the first down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. I think you run that play on second down, knowing it's going to make the third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available. High success for that. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run game coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to put my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. They're down to the 20. First and 10. Looking for space. It's two. You'll take four yards on first down every time. Second and six. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. He wants to throw here on second down. Quickly complete. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. They want to continue this long drive. Ninth play coming. It's third and five. It's a draw. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. So they'll send out the field goal unit. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play call. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Dude. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Still on his feet at the 45. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. Well, in a short yardage situation, they pull off an explosive play. And how about the blocking up front? Everybody getting a big time push. Yeah, in those third and shorts, defense plays aggressive, loads the box. One guy misses, and it ends up being a big game. Nice play by this offense. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Quick strike complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The Seminoles are moving quickly down the field. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Going to the ground. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Offside, Offside. defense. And this is what's going to drive coaches crazy. It's mental errors, right? It doesn't take any talent or lack of talent to have that penalty. You just got to watch the ball, and when it's snapped, get after the quarterback. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. 
Try to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver, the different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page, playing together. I love it. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Looking for a man. It's Uyunglele. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Oh, he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Oh, he had it, and he dropped it. Almost one of those big plays he's known for. It'll be third down. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurry. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate with his pass. Fires to the middle. It's complete. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it up to 40. The Hokies come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out quickly. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Back to the air one more time. Completes it in the middle. Tackle is made at the 44, but he picked up 10 yards and enough for a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Running back searching for a hole. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Fires to the big belt. They get him down after he makes the catch. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Oh, what a move! Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hokie! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing from the defense. Great drive by the offense. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at home. And now on second down for this offense. 
Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Uyunglele. Not a lot of room in the middle to fit that one in, but he did. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. When Bobby Bowden built this program, high-flying offenses, great quarterback play, innovation, and that's what they hope they'll see on this play today. Yeah, and it was year after year, man. He found so many elite athletes, such good recruiting in the state of Florida, and when the Seminoles get those guys, man, those teams fly. Quickly to the tight end. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Fires left. Makes a connection. Can anyone catch it? And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Seminole. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels. Because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. Was. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Back to pass. It's Drones. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Unloads it downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And the Hokies send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. Strikes the blow. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. He lets one fly deep. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. Nice catch there. I'll tell you, the, the Seminole passing attack has come a long way over the years. When I was playing against them back in the day, they were in the I formation every single play. Maybe it was play action. Maybe it was a shot play of the perimeter of the field. Now, they've got guys running all different kinds of routes, playing at different tempos, lining up all over the field. This dude is a guy you just have to know where he is every single snap. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got enough for the first. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and it just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. And the Knowles have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And how about that interior 
defense stuffing the run for nothing. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's Uyunga Lele. He caught it. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Oh, Slag down. Let's see what this is about. Defense was a little anxious there. Got caught offside. The penalty will be declined and give him the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Missed receiver there. It's incomplete. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they... Fires the pass. Intercepted. Got some room to run. The 20. Touchdown, Florida State. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. He'll try to tack on one more. And no gold star for making it a trick shot, but he bounced it off the left upright and got the PAT. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Quarterback on the keeper. The Hokies are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. For straight line speed, Virginia Tech's had a lot of quarterbacks over the years who had some wheels. I mean, this guy's got so much gas. He can just get up and go so quickly, and then they, they bring the fake in there, and there's just a lot to try to stop with this Virginia Tech quarterback. Well, no surprise there on defense, right? You know the QB is going to be trying to target this guy. Nice job in coverage forcing that incompletion. Ball still at the 45. After the incompletion, they'll snap it second and 10. Scanning the field. It's Drones. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got a man. It's Tootin. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. 
And the Hokies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The aerial assault continues. Quickly out to the tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Works the middle of the field. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it. Because he really didn't have a choice, because he was going to wear that one regardless. Quickly complete. Got some room in to the goal line. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. He'll start this drive firing. Makes the grab. It's Lee. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Douglas. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. The Seminoles want to pick up the tempo. He's going to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the tight end. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seen things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. It's a pretty good day. After the incompletion, it's second down. To throw, it's Uyunga Lele. Got his man quickly. That completion will take him inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and this crowd is making it miserable on this offense. Snags it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Offside, defense. So the offense, more than happy with the result of the play, will decline the penalty. And at this point on the field, I mean, I guess why not try to guess the snap count? Defense gets caught, still first and goal. Gets it out fast. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, no! You talk to any quarterback, Jesse, and they love finding the big tight end. Hard to overthrow the big fellows with the big reach, the nice mitts. Nice catch by the tight end. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. And he marched 78 yards down the field and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Using the quick game. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Going up top on first down. 
Finds a spot in the middle. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. They got it! It's blocked! He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Blacksburg. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to one of the best home field advantages in football, Lane Stadium.